this is how it should work. After you're done writing JavaScript, all this HTML and the styling and the CSS is all done for you. You don't have to know any of that. What should happen is they type in a number, you, the user, and you press start. See here how this changed? Changed to a number between 0 and 100. See? It just keeps changing. Okay? There's no special things. Oh! It doesn't work. What's going on here? Okay, let's try it again. Oh, now it works. Let's clear that. Try it again. No, I can't enter. I can't enter text either. Okay. Oh, and it doesn't work again because I didn't enter a number. Let's try that. 10. There we go. 10, 10, 10. See? Okay. This is how it's supposed to work. When you do your coding, you cannot change any of the HTML that I've given you. Okay? Don't change anything, not even the ID. It's all there for you, and this is the same for your CSS. All of that CSS has been added for you. You don't have to know any CSS for this assignment. Same with HTML, but you do have to remember, you have to know how to get your IDs, depending on what you're trying to do, whether that's a button, an input, um, text input, uh, we have here a number, see, and it's required. Okay? All that's done for you though. You just have to work on the JavaScript.